So I've been using DMenu for several things here lately, and I just wanted to go over some of the cooler scripts in my dot files that I've written for it, stolen or otherwise. When I first started using DMenu, I used it simply as a program launcher, and later I realized the error of my ways and started using it more to its potential. I wrote a P menu script for Spectre WM to kind of give me an, some options when I log out, similar to i3's nagbar. Then I wrote a B menu script, which was a bookmark script that would just launch it in XDG browser, whatever. And then I wrote a Wi Fi Connect script for my laptop. And it was pretty cool. I, it was all right. Nowadays, I've been using DMenu to start, stop, clone, and delete virtual machines. Because for some reason, Vert Manager was taking 40 forevers on my hardware to launch when it had no excuse to be that slow. And I just didn't want to deal with it. So this is kind of a workaround for me. So I'll get to these scripts in a minute. Another cool thing is booting ButterFS snapshots. It's not necessarily a restore, but booting snapshots, root or home. And I know time shift is a thing, but this works for me too. And I wrote it, so I guess there's that. And it doesn't rely on naming it after the Ubuntu stuff. So. And after watching DT's video on DM radio, I kind of stole that and made it independent of a helper script. And then I wrote some more DMenu scripts just for kind of proof of concept, like killing programs with DMenu. And one just uses pkill and one kill dash nines it. So let's take a look at it. In B menu, it's just a little two line script. So choice just cats out the contents of home slash dot config slash bookmarks into DMenu with the prompt assist use bookmark. And then if there is no choice, it exits. But if there is a choice, it utilizes XARGs for my browser and Echoes to, doesn't open in the browser, it opens in Firefox-ESR. Simple little two line scripts, nothing special. The next script I named PMenu. This was a precursor to my LD exit script, which I wrote using YAD. It gives a choice to log out or quit the menu and if you choose to log out, it kills Spectre WM and dumps you to a TTY. Once again, nothing special, but it served as a nice safety net for logging out directly with a key binding. Kind of in the same vein as i3's nagbar. Now, the Wi-Fi Connect script, I kind of took inspiration from DT and Luke Smith. It requires Network Manager to be installed and is just simply lists out the available SSIDs. It takes your password and logs in. And, you know, once again, nothing special, but... Useful when I needed it. Now let's take a look at BR snapshot or boot root snapshot. I'm going to ignore BH snapshot because it's written mainly as a proof of concept, like most of these scripts, and it's practically useless since you can just CD into the snapshot and pull out what you want. But I digress. BR snapshot is kind of cool. It isn't a restore, but a script to change the sub vol ID in Etsy FS tab. Hence the need to run as root, and that's why it's in my user local bin. I like to have the subvol ID in slash etsy slash its fs tab instead of the subvolume name. It allows me to do stuff like this. Is it useful? That's up for debate, but I like it. But I'm going to kind of run through what it does. I have a variable declared called run as, and it just runs the who am I command. And if your run as variable is not root, it prints f command must be run as root exiting and then exits with no fault restore point is the output of this command btrfs sub volume list of root and then it aux out root and then prints out the first item second item and the very last item pipes that through d menu with a listing of, of 10 because i wanted to have a list to scroll through instead of sideways and then the prompt says choose snapshot now the restore ID, it simply prints the restore point and then, and then runs cut dash D with an equals delimiter and then prints the second one to just get my number. Now root subvol ID actually aux subvol ID and forward slash for root 
in XCFS tab and prints out the fourth item. Then runs cut dash D with an equal sign delimiter and then prints out the third column. It will also work for the second, but generally speaking, if you have a couple of things equal to something in that line, I like to use the equal sign as a, as a delimiter. And that's easily changed if you have more or less things with an equal sign in that line. Now, if the root sub vol ID does not exist or whatever, it prints out unable to locate root sub volume ID. Check FS tab or edit the script. Then restore ID. If that doesn't exist, it prints out either no restore ID found or none selected. So this will actually print out if you just hit escape and don't do anything. Then it runs a seg command with a dash i. So this is the dangerous one. It replaces the root sub vol ID with the restore ID in SCFS tab. And now DM radio. I pinched directly from DT's video, except I didn't make it use a helper script. And I thought it was a really cool idea. And I like having music in the background while I work on stuff. You can look at my script if you want, but I'll leave a link to DT's video in the cards or in the description if I can remember to do it. So here is DM radio. Now it prints out a menu and gives me 70s, 80s, 90s hits, 60s rewind, 70s rewind, 80s rewind, 90s hits, lo-fi hip hop, rock, rock lab radio, classic rock and reggae hits. It's something for everyone, I guess. <laughs> now I've decided to save the best for last. These are the most useful ones to me at the moment. Before I distro hopped a while back from Debian stable to Debian testing to DevOne stable, for some reason, Vert Manager was taking a really long time to launch, and it was practically glacial on my system, and I never figured out why, because it has no excuses to be slow. I'm running a Ryzen 9 CPU with way more RAM than I need, and the RAM's even running at 3600 megahertz, and there's no spinning drives. Everything in this system is solid state, be it NVMe or SATA. So to get around the problem, for the most part, I decided to write a few scripts to start, stop, clone, and delete virtual machines. This took a few hours to get right, but it works really well. I probably don't need to explain the names VM start, VM stop, VM clone, and VM del, so I won't. But let's take a look at them anyway. So in my user local bin, I'm going to NVM VM start. This is going to work with either sudo or do as. Now the choice equals sudo or do as verse list dash dash all. And then it's going to grip shut off because I don't want to start a virtual machine that's already running. It's going to awk the second item and then print out in D menu with like 20 lines. And then with a prompt that says select VM. If there is no choice, it exits with no error. But when you do make a choice, sudo verse start your choice and and ld vert viewer that's a choice so what that's going to do is just start up my virtual machine and then open it up with vert viewer and it works really well it's pretty and it's fairly quick so good times now the next one vm stop has the same precursor for either do as or sudo this one has a bell icon because I wanted it to give me a notification when it was stopped because just because the window's closed doesn't mean that the process is killed. So choice is LD verse list dash dash all and then grip running because I'm not going to stop a VM that's already stopped. Print out the second item and then pipe it through D menu and then with a prompt that says select VM. If there is no choice, it exits with no error. Pseudo or do as verse shutdown choice and notify send with my icon bell with you know 3000 milliseconds vm stop choice shutdown it works really well now vm clone i really like this what that does of course it has the same precursor but my file location is home slash dot local slash share slash vert slash vm because i mounted my drive dedicated to virtual machines in that location. So my bell variable was essentially the same thing as 
earlier because I still wanted to have a notification pop up with, with a little icon and all that kind of stuff. Now my choice is sudo or do as, verse list, dash dash all, and then grep shut off. And it's gonna use alt to print out the second item, pipe through D menu, and then select the VM to clone. If there is no choice, it exits with no error. The new name is choice, pipe through D menu, and then new name with a prompt that says new name for VM. If there is no new name, it exits with no error. And then it does sudo or do as, vert clone, connect, QEMU, colon, slash, 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 system. Well, original is the first choice. Name is the new name variable that's up here. The file location is this variable here because I wanted it to be in the, on the same drive as what it was. And then it's going to notify send my icon bell. Or 3000 milliseconds, VM clone, choice clone to new name. And it works really well. Now the very last one, VM Dell for deleting a VM. Of course, it has the same precursor. I'm not gonna, I'm, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here, but my bell icon is essentially the same thing. My choice is sudo or do as verse list dash dash all and then grip shut off because I can't, I don't want to delete a, v, a VM that's running. So I'm gripping for shut off VMs. And then using awk, I print out the second item, pipe it through D menu with the prompt says select VM. If there is no choice, it exits with no fault or no error. And then sudo or do as ver verse undefined choice dash dash remove all storage and notify send my bell icon for 3000 milliseconds VM Dell choice deleted. I've got way more scripts that I've been working on and these are just the D menu scripts that I wanted to share with you guys. If you'd like to check out any of these scripts for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description to my GitLab page. Feel free to use anything you want. And of course, feedback is always welcome because if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I'm not a programmer by trade. I've just kind of messed up enough to know what doesn't work. <laughs> so if you have any ideas to improve these scripts, by all means, let me know. These are probably not the most elegant or efficient ways to do any of this, but I learned a lot while writing them, and hopefully there's something in there that will inspire you to create something for yourself. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. If you like the video, leave a like and share it if you think it will help someone else. I'm Mike. You guys are awesome. Catch you in the next one.